and business. So I thought I would jump on and chat to you guys. Let's just see. I think this is going to work, hopefully. So yesterday's live stream, I was, what, seven minutes on or something? And um, just uh, cut me off because the computer was so hot and the fan was just like, no more, no more. So um, hopefully we're not going to have too much of the same problem. It's kind of hot, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How is your day? How's your day been? Um, are you looking forward to the weekend? I know, do people still get really happy about Fridays? <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just another day, right? Um, but yeah, happy Friday and all of that stuff, right? So if you are jumping on, um, just say hi. Drop a comment below. Let me know that you are here. Thumbs up, love hearts, all of that good stuff would be great. And feel free to share as well with any of your friends and your network because you never know who this could benefit and who this could help. Um, and there was one more thing which I have just forgotten, but it will come back. It will come back to me. So, uh, yeah. Oh. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, <laughs> so I can see that you caught it later. Um, I wanted to speak to you guys about tuning out the noise to tune in. So this has been coming up for me a lot recently where I've just wanted to kind of be in my own bubble and be in my own space, kind of more than usual, but without the distractions and without the noise. And so um, this, this particular topic is something which I know a lot of people are going through as well. Um, some of my clients, these are kind of the kind of things that we've been talking about with regards to tuning out the noise, tune in. So um, yeah, so basically what I do, I help ambitious soul led leaders to magnetize success with ease so that they can inspire and impact others um, and actually change the world without feeling disempowered or stuck or held back. And I absolutely love this. I love what I do. I love my, my tribe, my amazing audience as well. Um, we have some great conversations. And a lot of the conversations are around, you know, how do I follow my heart? How do I do what I'm here to do? How do I create products to sell in my business? Hi there, Gumail. Good evening. How are you doing? How are you? Great to see you here. Um, and so, yeah, so some of the conversations that we have are around how do you tune in deeper? How do you tune in and listen to that space within? So for myself, like I've always lived by following this guidance and this intuition. It's boss. It is absolute boss. And I'm unhappy when I'm not listening to my inner guidance. And for a good few years, I stopped. I stopped listening to my soul voice or those nudges. And I got caught up in lots of stories. And um, I got caught up in a lot of distraction. And I was really, really unhappy because it just feels unnatural. Do you know what I mean? It feels unnatural when you're not doing the things that you're here to do in the way that you know you can do them. And I've always been super ambitious. So for me to feel like, oh my gosh, I feel really uncomfortable. I feel frustrated. Um, why am I not kind of achieving the results or gaining the results that I um, desire? And one of the reasons was actually because of this, tuning out uh, the noise, uh, because there was so much noise going on in my world. And it was noise that I was letting in. And so recently I've been having conversations with my one-to-ones around how to really tap in and how to really listen to that voice within and allow that to be um, the guiding light, you could say, the North Star, right? Uh, if you love all this like star language, <laughs> magic and miracles, drop a comment below. That's definitely how I speak and what makes me happy. Um, so in order to tune out the noise, um, we've got to tune in and I want to talk about the tuning in part first and then we'll talk about the, the, the noise part. So a key priority for the soul led leaders that I work with and um, the authors, the teachers, the mentors, the coaches, the women who have big dreams, you know, to manifest an amazing relationship, for example, or to up level the current relationship and to really impact the world with her heart and soul. 
Um, a key priority is to listen to her own heart, right? It is to listen to those inner nudges. And in order to listen to those nudges, we've got to be able to create the space, right? The spaciousness and the space to actually hear and feel the nudge, right? To hear that intuition, be like, oh, okay, that came from a deeper place within. So that's something that I'm going to take action on. Um, and it's quite amazing because this spaciousness feels really, really good. Uh, for sure, and it's completely different to the noise of self-talk and doubts and stuff, which I want to come to. So spaciousness just feels really, really cool. It just feels like there's this inner peace. It feels like you're in the right place at the right time. You're good with the, each moment. So you're living in the present moment and you're just like embracing each unfolding moment, just allowing it to f unfold as it's supposed to, as it's meant to. And um, there's like no forcing, there's no pressure, there's no, you know, act in a certain way or do a certain thing. You're just listening to that inner guidance and you're following it step by step. And it doesn't have to be something that's serious. It can be something which is, uh, you know, which you can bring in through fun and through play and laughter and being silly. Like I personally love to be silly. You might have seen <laughs> some of my posts from jumping up or leaping um or skipping i don't think i've shared that skipping picture me and one of my best friends just skipping skipping in barcelona <laughs> but expect to see it at some point um you know and so when we're listening to when we're kind of living in the present moment and we're living with this gratitude and this trust this space <clears throat> this space for whatever wants to come through to come through you um one of the key ways to do this actually to cultivate uh, meditate a meditation practice. So meditation is really the way that I describe it. It's uh, it's a way for you to tap in. It's a way for you to access your inner potential, um, and to kind of awaken those parts of you that are currently dormant. And I love meditation. There's one that I teach which is on which is on my YouTube channel uh, called uh, Gratitude and Miracles Meditation. It's something which I do every day. And it's incredible because what it does, it activates your heart, your heart chakra, and it allows you to um, kind of really tap into your source and connect and to manifest as well, to manifest and call in exactly what you desire. So I will leave the link for you guys in the comments once I've finished. Um, but this key priority to listen to your own nudges, to listen to your own heart, is uh, it's something which takes time, it's something which takes practice, and it's definitely something which can feel like it's not there or it's, it's intermittent and that connection isn't always there. And one of the reasons is because of self-talk and the noise that goes on within self-talk. So I'm going to talk about the noise within and the noise without. So if you think about it, the noise within is like, you know, a busy mind and it's a mind which is overthinking and um, doubtful and creating stories and fears where the story of the particular fear or fears is far greater and noisier than the story of your desires, the story of your dreams, um, the stories of the language of you encouraging yourself and supporting yourself. So if you check out today's post, um, Oh, what did I, what did I, I can't even remember what I called it. Uh, but today's post is about the thoughts that keep you company. And you get to choose the thoughts that keep you company. And it's this, right? So when we've got a busy mind, we're distracted and, you know, we're kind of like not living in the present moment. We're living in our head. We're living in our mind. I personally don't like that. I like to have a clear mind. <laughs> I like to have a clear mind and just be in a space where, you know, everything is flowing and there's like a really beautiful flow between heart and mind. Um, but these things can get in the way, you know, these, uh, this kind of language or relationship with the mind can, can create uh, the patterns, you know, where that noise is tuning out the inner voice. Um, and I know for sure that, you know, the soul led leaders that I work with want to really impact the world in a powerful way. And they want to show up in a powerful way. And in order to do that, and, and in order to do that, they want to, want to do it from their own heart and soul, right? Like, she wants to show up as she was created. She wants to show up 
as she was made. She wants to show up as she feels within or as she sees within. Um, and so we work on kind of removing, <laughs> removing, we work on eliminating and reducing um, any kind of self-talk that is noisy. Let's say noisy rather than negative because uh, that just go, goes into another way, into another field. Um, oh, here's the other thing as well. So I have uh, an, a bit of an F off attitude within my own mind. And I talk about this in my book, in one one plus ways. Um, and this F off attitude is essentially saying to anything that doesn't feel right and true, you're saying to this part, you know, to F off. And you do it with love, um, you know, but you do it with this understanding that your heart and soul is boss and your intuition is boss. And um, what you're doing is you're creating a boundary within your own mind, within your own um, mind space. And it's a way of protecting, of protecting, you know, what you're calling into your world and, and, and how you're feeling within. media drama you know like we can end up taking other people's drama into our own world and if we don't have boundaries with our own mind then those dramas can become our own of what I want to um kind of uh, not cultivate or entertain that's the word so if this is resonating for you guys so far, just drop a comment below and let me know. If you have any questions, I'll answer them whilst I'm on or I'll answer them after the replay as well. Um, and feel free to share as well. That would be awesome. And love hearts and thumbs up if this is resonating and aligned with where you're at at the moment. all day, every day in pockets. Um, and it's amazing for connection. Like we're here, we're connecting across the internet, you know, across the Wi-Fi or whatever it might be, <laughs> um, you know, through social media. So, hey there Reynolds, uh, that's very true. Okay, let me know what was that, what, was, what did I say that was very true? I'm glad that it resonates. Um, you know, so social media is amazing for connection. And um, I love it for that. I absolutely do. It cut me off like it seems to be doing um, these past few days. So I was like, well, you know what? I've got to finish it off. I've got to finish off our conversation. Otherwise, I am not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> so um, if you guys are returning back, just a thumbs up or drop a comment and just let me know, okay? Um, so I was talking about social media and how social media is great for connection and we love it for that. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a blessing in so many ways because of that. But the way that the social media apps are set up is they're often set up for distraction, right? Because their intention is to keep us on the apps for as long as possible and, um, you know, to kind of take our focus and our time and attention away. And really our time and our energy is the greatest currency that we have. And so when it comes to tuning in and tuning out or tuning out the noise, what you're wanting to do is to really protect your energy, right? You're wanting to, to make sure that the world within is the kind of world you want it to be rather than a world that has been a world of noise from social media or from apps or from this story or from that post or that video or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. uh, other people's drama is not ours. It's always a choice to say, well, you know what? That's not my stuff. That's not my drama. Um, and I choose to not have it come into my world, come into my field. So social media is one of the kind of um, vehicles that has a lot of noise does create so much angst and so much um, stress and anxiety for many, many people. 
Um, and I think the biggest the, the biggest impact is also kind of time lost. There was definitely a time for myself where I spent a lot of time on social media and um, watching videos after video, one video to the next one. Oh, that's been recommended. Oh, that's been recommended. Oh, I might just watch that one. Might just listen to that. Um, or I'll watch it later. And it just got to the point where thinking thinking about it now, like that's time lost that I'm never going to get back again, ever. And so um, when it comes to tuning out the noise that's getting in the way of your path, uh, the path of your dreams, the path of your destiny, the path of your success, your highest timeline, um, it really is about being, you know, having the boundary around your time and around how you use social media and activities like that. So I have like um, timers on, you know, when I'm on social media and I'll just say to myself, I am only on social media for this thing. I'm just gonna reply back to my client or I'm just gonna share this story or I'm just gonna write this post and then I'm gonna switch off. And of course it happens. You see a post from one of your friends or you see a video that looks really interesting and you watch it and you're like, oh my God. And then there's the next one, you start scrolling you're like, oh no. So yeah, it's uh, one of those things that really for the solid leaders that I work with and, and the people in my world who want to connect deeper and who want to manifest an incredible life, being aware of how that noise shows up in our world is so important and then creating the boundaries and the standards around whether that's acceptable, whether that's something that is serving you and whether it's something that has got to go. Because uh, a lot of the time, a lot of the stuff does have to go. <laughs> so um, that was really what I wanted to share for today. Um, and just to uh, kind of bring it together, you know, solid living and living from your heart and leading yourself from your own heart and soul and leading with love is an incredible way to live. It's natural. It's natural. It's how we chose to live and experience this world and this life. Um, but the modern world has oftentimes got in the way. So we're on a mission to really help people reconnect to their hearts and souls and really manifest success in business, success in life from that place rather than external distractions and stuff going on out there. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to be heading off. If you do have any questions, drop them below for me and I will answer them or you can DM uh, DM me and myself and my team will get back to you. Um, just to let you guys know as well, so this weekend I've got an awesome special. Um, my 21 day money mindset challenge starts on Monday and uh, this is where for 21 days you receive an audio track from me and some journal prompts and some coaching um, to help you shift your money mindset so you can manifest more money with greater ease. It's one of my favorite courses I've created. Uh, it's only 30, well, Originally, it's only £35, but I've decided to do it for £25 just for this weekend, starting from today. Um, I will leave the link below, which is at leilakhanauthor.com forward slash 21 day money. I'll leave the link below and you guys can follow on through. So if you're wanting to shift your money mindset, manifest more money, abundance, um, shift your mindsets to at calling more of what you desire and to actually being great at greater peace and this is definitely for you uh, one of my students I think it was by day 9 or day 19 she manifested 49,000 49 and a half thousand pounds uh, we've had students manifest in 2,400 um, 600 pounds 3,500 5,000 pounds 10,000 like literally it's, it's just amazing and more opportunities and to be honest it's that greater peace and learning and understanding how the world of manifestation and abundance works so come and join come and join let me know if you're in it will be amazing to have you part of the tribe and the audience and um i will speak to you really soon so enjoy the rest of the evening or day wherever you are in the world and as always remember life is today so follow your heart it knows the way